because shooting happens here. It's you. It has nothing to do with the gun. You can't spin your problems away. You, because the more expensive trigger that you put in your weapon, the more sensitive it will be and the worse the problem will be, right? You should be able to shoot a stock trigger like I have in this one. This one's loaded. I'm not going to pull it out of the holster. But if you don't have this ironed out and then you go and just buy a more expensive trigger thing, it's going to fix your problem. All it's going to do is amplify it. You have to figure that out here. So when Pete brings you to the line this time you go to shoot, I want you to feel it, shoot. This is your chance, that's why we're here. It's your chance to look down, look at your stance and go, am I standing in the right way? Or where am I? It's all right, you can take a look at yourself. Look at your grip and say, hey, is my grip what it should be? This is your opportunity to look at those things because a lot of times we don't. We're so apprehensive about shooting, we just go up there and rip rounds, get frustrated, put it away, go to the bar and just tell ourselves, well, it'll, it'll be better next time. I don't, I don't want you to be those kinds of shooters. I want you to understand the process and what it is that makes things go off. And then here's the last thing I'll say before we shoot. You, you can't miss fast enough to kill somebody, okay? You can't do it. So every shot you take is worth making it a well-aimed shot. If you do that, eventually they will all be like that, or at least you'll understand why it wasn't. You'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to call your shot. You'll know it was a bad shot before you even look and saw where it hit.